Hi, I'm Nicola from London and today I'm going to be making a recipe for you. Um, during lockdown I was really craving some comfort food um, and with all the restaurants and takeaways closed uh, I decided to make some pizza at home and um, so I'm going to do that for you today. Um, so it's a thin crust uh, crispy uh, Italian pizza. Uh, the quantity of dough that we'll make first of all um, is enough to make eight medium to large pizzas. Uh, I'm going to then make two varieties of those today but then the dough can either be kept in the fridge or it can be frozen and used at a future date or even can be used to make things like garlic breads as an accompaniment to meals uh, later in the week and um, so we'll make a start. The ingredients you're going to need is one kilo of strong white bread flour, one tablespoon um, of caster sugar, 14 grams um, of instant bread yeast and then one teaspoon of fine sea salt, four tablespoons of olive oil, 650 ml of tepid warm um, water and then later on you need to need a little bit more flour and if you've got some, some fine semolina um, for when you are rolling out your dough. The first thing you have to do is activate the yeast. Um, so you should have your water, it should be warm to touch, not boiling. So into the jug of water you add your instant yeast, your tablespoon of caster sugar, you will add your four tablespoons um, of olive oil, and give that a slight mix, okay, and then just set that to one side. It will take a few minutes um, to actually start to form bubbles and to fizz up. The next step is preparing the flour. Um, so the flour needs to be sieved uh, to get air through it and make sure there's no lumps. So we'll do that. And add your sea salt uh, ready to do. And just give that a salt and mix in with the flour. Ready to pour in the liquid. We've left it maybe three or four minutes now. And as you can see, it's starting to become like foamy on top of the yeast and the water mixture. It's ready to be used. Pour in the liquid into the well that's made here. Okay. Next we're going to start to bring the flour into that liquid. So just by stirring in the centre of that well, it will gradually bring in some of the flour. And keep going until it forms a ball of dough. In the centre of your bowl. So once the dough starts to come together in a bowl, you're going to tip this out onto a surface so that we can start the kneading. Start to knead the dough. So keep folding, stretching, tearing the dough. Once you finish kneading, you'll end up with a kind of smooth and springy, pliable dough. It takes probably about um, I'd say maybe five to eight minutes of kneading to get the dough to this stage. Uh, so once it's like this, uh, just lightly cover the surface of the dough with flour, which it is, uh, and then we're going to put it in, back into the bowl. I guess a bit of flour around the walls there. And pop the dough into the middle. Okay. And then you can either cover the dough either with a damp a uh, kitchen cloth, tea towel, clean one, or with some cling film. It takes about an hour for the dough to rise. It should double in size uh, and it needs to be put in a warm place for this, so away from any kind of draft. While the dough is proving, uh, we can get on and make the tomato sauce for the pizza base. Uh, to do this, you need some olive oil, um, 500 gram carton um, of Passata or sieved tomatoes, or you could use a can of chopped tomatoes, or you could use fresh tomatoes, some salt, black pepper, chili flakes, and some herbs, uh, a chopped red onion, and a couple of cloves of garlic crushed. Okay. Turn on the heat to a fairly high heat. Add about a tablespoon uh, of olive oil into the pan. Add uh, the chopped red onions to the pan. Chopped 
So give it a few minutes so that it's starting to soften and brown so nicely cooked. Okay, um, and then we're going to add the sieve tomatoes. Add a little bit of salt, black pepper. And some dried Italian herbs. Give it a mix, turn the heat down, and, and let it cook just for maybe four or five minutes. This has now been cooking for a few minutes. Let's um, combine. Just going to add one teaspoon uh, of normal sugar. And just to sweeten the tomato. Um, turn off the heat and then we're going to pour it into a container ready to blend. I'm going to use a stick blender uh, to blend this into a tomato pure red sauce. Okay, that's done and we'll set to one side. Once the dough has been proving in one place for about an hour, it should have doubled in size. So I'm going to take off this cling film and get ready to roll out the door. So first of all you'll knock the door back a little bit, you'll see the door shrink back in the bowl and then we're going to turn it out onto a floured surface. Here's the door already rolled out. Um, I split that big batch of dough into eight portions uh, and each of these is one portion. Uh, I'm not very good at getting it round so it's more free form in its shape. Uh, rolled out with a bit of flour and a bit of the semolina sprinkled on the surface to stop the dough from sticking. Roll the dough out nice and thinly. I've let it rest for about 10 minutes covered with a tea towel. So toppings, it's completely up to you what you do. So I'm going to make two different ones. Um, so a mixture of vegetables, sliced peppers, sliced onions, red chilies, mushrooms, um, some ready cooked marinated chicken, um, some crushed garlic, I've got some sliced salami and parma ham, and then some olive oil, black pepper and chili flakes. And in this bowl uh, there's about 300 grams of grated mozzarella cheese. Um, okay, so let's do the assembling of the pizzas. There's the tomato sauce. Obviously there's more quantity of tomato sauce because that can be kept to one side for when you use the rest of the dough at a later stage. So spread this out a little bit more. Now pour the cheese. Uh, we do a final sprinkle of cheese. So this is chicken, peppers and mushrooms and this is from parma ham, salami, uh, peppers and red onion uh, and then a little sprinkle of Italian herbs over the top. I've already done the pepper, chilli flakes and the drizzle of olive oil. Now this is going to go into a really hot oven, uh, it's been preheated to 240 degrees C uh, fan and straight in. Okay and this is only going to take about 8 minutes. Our 8 minutes is up so we're ready to open the oven, mind it will be very hot. Quite well done there, nice and thin and crispy. It. It's a homemade Italian thin and crispy pizza. Make it veg, you can make it meat, whatever you like. And then we do it you can use the same dough to make a calzone pizza, which is like a giant Cornish pasty. You can roll it out uh, to make a garlic bread or just your simple regular pizza.